Hey there guys, it's Carter Sirach, the productive dude here on YouTube. And in today's video, we're talking about how to work distraction free using Friday.app. So jumping right in, Friday.app is essentially a bullet journal, a daily planner, a place for teams to collaborate. And it's also a place where freelancers or individual consultants can work in like very small teams or alone even. So this is a pretty versatile platform and I'm gonna talk more about how to use it to block out distractions today. This has a website blocker built into it that helps you block distracting websites. It also has a way that you can tune out notifications during focus time by uh, dynamically altering your Slack notifications and whatnot. Um, so it's pretty powerful. Let's jump right in. Once you have an account made with Friday, and by the way, you can click the link in the description to go ahead and make a friday.app account. They will give me a small kickback. Once you are signed up, you can go ahead and add the Chrome extension. And what this will do is it will allow the website blocker to start doing its thing. And we'll talk more about the website blocker as we get into planning our day and blocking out focus time. So in order to plan your day, you're going to want to go to the planner on the left hand side of the screen, and that's going to open up the current day. So today is the 18th. It's around three o'clock. So you see this line here indicating that our day is continuing on. I'm going to go to Tuesday tomorrow here, and I'm going to start planning out my day for Tuesday the 19th. Let's say that at 1130, I wanted to start my focus time. I could simply click on add to agenda focus time. And then down here, you're going to see the websites that I've decided to block. You can add a new site right here just by typing it in. So let's say I wanted to block Instagram.com. I could do so. And then whenever I'm within any scheduled focus time or any scheduled deep work time, these sites are going to get blocked. It's going to ask, when would you like to focus? So I'm just going to select from 1130 all the way up to 2 p.m. And I can even make this recurring if I want to. So I can repeat it on daily basis, a weekly basis, or we can just repeat it like every Tuesday, every other Tuesday, and so on. You can read the options here. I'm not gonna make this a recurring task. I've got all of my blocked sites listed here. And now what I wanna do is I want to make sure that this shows up in my calendar and on Slack. So if I wanted to, I could click on my calendar here and that will show as busy in my Google Calendar next time that I head over to my calendar. So I'm just gonna schedule in this deep focus time. And this is from 11.30 to 2 p.m. on the 19th. And now that I'm back in Google Calendar, you can see right off the bat that my focus time has been logged in here at 11.30. It's pretty neat how that dynamically updates because it allows you to do pretty much everything that you need to do over here in Friday. And then from there, you will have all of the major platforms that need to be in tune with that synced up. So Google Calendar and Slack can be synced up and then you don't have to worry about changing your status or entering it twice. Let me show you what focus time looks like. So if I were to schedule in some focus time right now from 3.30 to 4 p.m., considering it's 3.45 p.m. right now on the 18th, if I were to schedule this in, now let me show you what happens when I try to go over to a site like YouTube since I'm in an active focus time. So this is pretty much what shows up when I try to uh, go to YouTube. You'll also see that on your Friday.app dashboard on the homepage, it will show that you have a focus time in progress and it will show you how many minutes you have left on that focus time. You can come in here and you can hit edit or you can go to end early if you wanna end the focus time. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to focus and how to stay working distraction free using Friday. And I hope that these tips help you to get more done and get into that flow state that we all are trying to achieve on a regular basis. So with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you want to, in the meantime, check out some other videos that I know you'll like. I'm going to link a video here uh, about Friday.app, another video that I made. And this might go a little bit more in depth and help you out. So check that out. And also subscribe if you'd like to. It supports the channel. and. You know, if you do want to get notifications about these videos, it's important that you subscribe and hit the bell. So we'll see you guys in the next video.